Hey guys, what is up? Uh, today something pretty cool happened and I also got an email about this from Pitbull1321 on YouTube. Uh, LG has done something again and they've done two very cool things this month basically. The first thing was that just the day after the Samsung Galaxy S3 event they unveiled the first phone that had 2 gigabytes of RAM and this is not just something like, uh, th I mean this is something that's kind of useful because I mean I can see myself hit the top uh, around how many megabytes uh, I use uh, uh, of the RAM uh, sometimes uh, when I have 800 megabytes on my Galaxy Note and I mean like they're saying the Galaxy Note has one gigabyte but you get it with 800 so I mean that's like when you buy hard drives they say it's one gig but then you only get like 950 or something like that but LG yeah the first cool thing that they did lot this month basically was to unveil a two gigabyte smartphone now they have unveiled a display that comes in the resolution of 1920 times 1080p that was basically what BGR was saying that something access Three would have a as a, as a display, but it, it didn't, of course, come with that. It uh, come, came with the 720p display, used as uh, the Sony Xperia S came with, the HTC One X, and a couple of other uh, high-end smartphones at the moment. Uh, but LG now has uh, released this kind of prototype. It's a five-inch display, as I said, 1920 times 1080p. That's the resolution and comes with 440 ppi's uh, which cross the Sony, uh, which is you know uh, it, it passed the Sony Xperia S that has 342 ppi the reason why uh, the Sony Xperia S could have such a high ppi is because most high-end smartphones like this year right now they are getting bigger than 4.3 inch but the Sony Xperia S is still 4.3 inch uh, so uh, the ratio um, on, of, of this kind of display is 16 by 9 so it's not 4 by 3 so it's good for videos and movies and things like that and the technology that they're using is called advanced high performance in-plane switching or for short AH-IPS so I mean like 5 inch what do you think about 5 inch although we have any 5 inch smartphones right now yes we have the Galaxy Note and so I mean like if, if LG can do this I think that Samsung also has something like this going on and wouldn't it be kind of awesome to see a little later this year a Samsung Galaxy Note coming out a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 coming out with the 1080p display I mean like Samsung is focusing a lot on uh, smart TVs and things like that and I'm looking into buying like one, one cool like Samsung smart TV so I mean, of course, if LG can do this, I definitely do believe that Sony can do this uh, to unveil some new cool smartphones uh, by the other end of this year. And I mean, you release new smartphones with 1080 to be displays, and of course, it should be kind of a little bit higher. Uh, well, I mean, like at least like five inch displays, because uh, or else you know you won't really see more pixels or it will be a little less useful uh, but I mean like I really want to see this um, in, in real life of course and um, I, I can't wait to see a Galaxy Note 2 and uh, we also heard that HTC could be working on a Galaxy Note competitor uh, with a 10 to be display and like quad core Snapdragon S4 I mean like it's gonna see some banana phones um, next uh, in the other end of this year we also have some new upcoming Coming phones coming up here. I mean, the Samsung Galaxy S3 I've seen it's available right now in some stores, or I mean, and uh, they will start to ship them out. Or I mean, you will be able to buy them uh, in a store tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's only in three hours. But of course, stores uh, don't open that early. They open around 10 a.m. So uh, we will see when I get my hands on on the Galaxy S3. But as you do know, I'm kind of horny in that phone. I want to have it right now. So if I can buy it. I'm, I'm probably going to buy it, uh, but we'll see when I make an unboxing of that. And of course, we have some other phones coming up next uh, month. We have the Edge Optimus 4X, and we also have another phone from Asus, Asus Pad Phone, which I'm not quite sure if I'm going to pick up. I mean, like, yeah, I really do want to pick it up, but. Um, yeah, we will we, we, we'll see. Asus Pad Phone, it's a very cool design phone with the Snapdragon S4 processor and things like that. Uh, but yeah, we have some cool things coming up and we can look forward to a, a awesome a awesome other half of 2012 here with 1080p displays 
um, a new iPhone, yes, a new iPhone, and hopefully it um, will be called iPhone 5, but uh, it's probably not, it's probably only going to be called a new iPhone, because, I mean, iPhone 5 rumors, they, I think we're soon close, uh, closing up to around two years, people have been talking about that iPhone 5, exactly that name, it will be so much fun if they don't release an iPhone with that name, because then it will be kind of random. Yeah, have a good day, everyone.